unfolding, US Olympic team just made shock announcement involving all white athletes effective immediately. US Olympic committee just made sudden shock announcement about white athletes effective now. The organizers of the American Olympic team want a more diverse team, which may be code for whites are not welcomed here anymore. In doing so they have taken it upon themselves to scrap the age-old ritual of choosing the best athletes for our team and attempt to base teams based on diversity. Now they will choose color over substance, which does not always put the best athletes in place to represent America. This year the US is sending the largest team ever to a Winter Games, which consists of 243 athletes. And it's the most diverse team the US has ever sent to a Winter Games. But the powers that be are not happy because it seems only 10 members of this year's team are black, 11 are Asian and 2 are gay. Olympic teams should be selected based on who applies to play, who qualifies, and that's it. Considering the Winter Olympics are in South Korea, there could have been people who simply did not want to travel that far, or simply did not qualify. In contrast, 23% of the 2016 Team USA was black while just 4% of this year's team is black. Via Washington Post The US Olympic Committee says it's taking its most diverse team ever to a Winter Games, an impressive and deserved boast that requires a caveat of sorts. Yes, USOC officials are pleased the team includes more African Americans and Asian Americans and even the first two openly gay men than recent winter squads. But they also realize this year's US Olympic team, not unlike those of most other nations gathering in Pyeongchang this week, is still overwhelmingly white. We're not quite where we want to be, said Jason Thompson, the USOC's Director of Diversity and Inclusion. I think full-on inclusion has always been a priority of Team USA. I think everybody's always felt it should represent every American. Team USA numbers 243 athletes, which is the largest team any nation has sent to a Winter Olympics. Of that group, 10 are African American 4% and another 10 are Asian American. The rest, by and large, are white. The Winter Games contingent is typically much smaller than its summer counterpart, but the demographic differences are striking. The United States took more than 550 athletes to the 2016 Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro. Of that group, more than 125 were African American about 23%. This year's winter squad includes the first black long track speed skater Aaron Jackson, who transitioned to the spot from inline skating as well as the first black hockey player, Jordan Greenway, and first black short track speed skater, 18-year-old Mom Biney, who moved from Ghana to the Washington area when she was 5 years old. Can we please just go back to the days where ability, character, and drive were worth more than skin color? This racism against white people isn't going to bring on anything good and it needs to stop now. We are a nation where if you work hard, then you will succeed, this is proven by the fact so many people in this world want to come here. America has millions of successful people of every color, but every single one of them works for it. Athletic competitions between countries are special because the Olympics are not held very often. People train for years to qualify and compete. If a committee selects teams based on color of their skin, then that means someone who is better or worked harder may lose a spot that they deserve. Olympic teams should be chosen based on if people qualify in their respective competition. There should not be any mention of diversity, there should only be mentions of Americans dominating every sport possible. Winning an Olympic event is extremely special for athletes who train to represent America. We want the best performers out there no matter what color they are. Any attempt to focus on diversity or social justice, instead of pure athletic skill, will cost America to lose events. Is that fair to the athletes or the country?